It's recording. Yeah, it's recording. What was I gonna say? Hey guys, so it's um, almost 1 a.m. and I'm, I should have gone to bed <laughs> about 45 minutes ago at least. Um, but I was doing something on line that I wanted to see and then um, I had to send my boss my mileage and I got distracted reading email and Groupon. Not that I've bought anything on Groupon because I can't afford anything right now. But um, yeah, ways to distract myself. It's like I mentally sabotage myself for sleep. Um, but I'm gonna just go put my PJs on and brush my teeth and because I really need to do, which I know is TMI, but, um, yeah, so anyways, just really quickly, my day is pretty much how I went. I woke up at 11, um, didn't really feel like working out, because it was A, hot, and B, I knew Michael had said something about meeting for lunch today, so I basically lounged around the bed till 12, took a shower, got to Michael's late, of course, because I was washing dishes and got ready very last minute. Um, but I went there and, you know, met him at In-N-Out again, but I didn't eat In-N-Out. I just, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. And then by the time I, f I found out, I was like, oh, I should get food. Because, um, again, I woke up at 11, I met him at 1, I wasn't that hungry yet. Um, it's There was a line and he had to leave, so I just walked him back to his office and we were talking about Paula Dean and all that BS and stuff and... She's crazy. She wants to kill us all with butter. She is killing, is going to kill America with butter. That is her weapon. Because I don't know if you've ever seen Paula Deen, but the few times that I have, like my sister was actually telling me, she goes, I've seen one of her shows where, or episodes or whatever, where she has like three bowls just of butter. I don't know why we need so much butter in our foods, Paula Deen, but obviously it's not working for you because you just don't know how to be politically correct as a figure or at least respectful to other people. Um, anyway, as a public figure, you sometimes need to be very PC, so I mean, it's not, I'm not saying don't speak your mind when you have to, but not when you're like discriminating against people that don't need to be discriminated against. Um, anyways, and then after that I walked my little butt over to um, Barnes & Noble and because I kind of was craving the sandwich that they have, but they didn't have that sandwich so I got this other stuff which actually was pretty similar to it. Um, I got half of that and I got the soup, I didn't really eat the soup and if you saw my picture on Instagram, it was like not even a sandwich, it was like a quarter of a sandwich. I was like, this is kind of rip off. But I guess it was because it was like the little round buns and I didn't notice that. But it was still pretty good. It still filled me up and um, I read a little there and had my iced chai. And I know I said I wasn't going to be having Starbucks. But sometimes there's no choice. Although I did do it for like two weeks so or something like that. So I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, both times that I've gone, it's because it's pretty much the only thing that's appetizing at the time. Um, and I went to Mars Nobles, and that's basically, it's like their Starbucks, that's what they were selling. They were selling sandwiches. Um, I was going to this other little Italian place that I go to, but I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to do that. So yeah, and then I went to Urban Outfitters and Forever 21 really quickly and window shopped. There's so many cute things, and there was stuff that was on sale. Like, I mean, really, really adorable things. But I just, like, was like, nope, don't do it. First of all, because I didn't want to try clothes on, and it was like, I had to head back to my car soon. Other reason being that, um, I just need to be financially savvy, because apparently wasn't so much in the past. Um, so, yeah. But, you know, hopefully once I get shit together and things work out, then I can shop a little. I need some retail therapy for a while. Like, and I know, I mean, there's a book I actually want to read and I'm all over the place right now. Um, and I saw it in the, at Barnes Noble, like, maybe last week or the week before, and I think I saw it somewhere on Goodreads. Um, 
but then I also saw it featured, I think it was, I think it might have been in Self Magazine, or Fitness Magazine, or, yeah, one of those, um, because I read, like, one of them all the way last time. I know it wasn't health, but it was fitness or self, um, and it's basically this book where this lady basically let herself go. She became a mom and decided, you know, she goes out with the makeup, no shopping for a year. Like, she just went kind of cold turkey for a year, like, not really, like, indulging in, like, shopping, whether it be makeup or stuff or anything like that. Anything, like, that, you know, wasn't necessary, basically. Um, so I'll let you guys know the title of the book down below. They also recommended other books that were pretty interesting. And one of them I actually saw today, um, it's called Mirror Mirror Off the Wall, and it's a lady who went, you know, she was a former anorexic or recovering anorexic, and so she decided to just not look at herself for a year in the mirror, and this was leading up to her wedding. And she actually said it was probably the best thing. Like she doesn't feel she needs she doesn't feel like as self conscious about herself now. Like she now sees herself as what maybe people kept telling her, like, you know what, you're not too fat, you're not you're like you're perfect the way you are, kind of thing. And she you know, because sometimes we especially I mean, I'm not saying guys don't go through this, I I do know guys who have gone through this. Um, one of my best friends actually, he went into pretty heavy drug use for a while because he, A, was gay, so he didn't feel accepted completely in that sense, although his parents were very loving and accepting, um, after, like, you know, at first they were a little shocked, but then they came around, you know, relatively quick, and, you know, they love him and everything, and his sister supports him, and he has very supportive friends. He was in a bad relationship, though, um, with a guy that was younger than him, but very, was a very toxic relationship, to tell you the truth. Uh, it basically led my friend to not just once, I think not even twice, but three times, to be publicly drunk at school. I mean, like, flat out wasted, falling over himself, slurring his words type of thing. And, you know, this is a friend that's, like, I don't know, like, he's like my gay best friend. He's my gay bestie. And, um, I love him to death, and he's funny and stuff, but he, he was... Heavier. So yeah, so he wasn't exactly like fit or anything, but you know, he, after everything he went through, he, he's kind of back to normal now. So anyway, um, so yeah, so that's basically what this book is about. But then I went to pick up Dempsey and, um, took her to the park. She fell off the swing and felt so bad, but like this little girl was distracting me. She was asking if I could push her and I was like, I can't, I'm sorry. And, um, I look over and, like, Dempsey's just, she has a really bad cough right now, so I guess she was trying to cover her mouth, and so she, like, let go and stuff, or she got tangled, and I was like, it's okay, and she, she was, like, crying, and she goes, I want to go back on, oh, she's like, well, that was fast, she was very brave, um, she didn't hurt herself or anything, it was just, she got more scared than anything, um, you know, because, like, she fell back, and she kept falling back, it's also because she has, like, well, first of all, the material of the swing is not exactly, like, slip-resistant. And she has, like, this tutu, so it doesn't- it, it's kind of, like, slides, and it's big on her anyway, so it's, it slides even more. But anyways, after that, she was fine, and we kept swinging forever, and then finally we went over to the bridge and, and everything, and the slides and that kind of stuff, and the monkey bars. And we went home, and I- she asked me for quesadillas, which she didn't end up eating. Um, and then she asked me for pasta, so she ate that, she ate her strawberries and everything, and, um, my boss bought all this food, and she was actually like, I know you, you drink that coconut water, just tell, like, tell me which brand it is, and, you know, I'll get it for you, and I was like, okay, <laughs> I felt kind of bad, because, like, she's buying the stuff for me, but she, she's really, she's awesome, like, if you guys haven't heard me talk about my boss enough, um, she, it, she really is, like, they are the the coolest people if not like an older sister she's like that older wiser cousin that like kind of um gives you advice and everything we could talk and it's very laid back and and stuff and um she's very nice um <laughs> so yeah but right now she's she goes oh my gosh she goes I'm just I've been feeling weird and it's just I don't like it <laughs> um so yeah and then Dempsey was like playing around and you know 
came home and I didn't feel like doing exercise today at all, you guys. Um, so I'm just going to do my crunches and then I'm going to go to bed because it's already one and because I had to download some stuff onto the computer right now. So I had to pause a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm tired and I need to get, wake up early. I don't want to wake up late and I want to get in as much sleep as I can. So yeah. Um, and uh, so yeah, and then I just came home and I was watching TV and got lazier and lazier and I was supposed to clean my desk and that didn't happen. So hopefully <laughs> by Wednesday I can do that. I keep postponing that. Everything else is like fine, but that part and then it just makes everything else like so much messier than it is. Um, but while I was like looking through Facebook, I come across this, I'm like, I guess I liked um, Channel 4 or NBC for us in LA and like like their page and so I always get like these updates when they have stories and there was a story and you guys might have heard about it because apparently the, this video went viral and it's this guy who um, he had mounted a dashboard camera and this guy keeps in front of him keeps cutting him off and like breaking and then he keeps like he throws a can at him at some point it's this eight minute video and apparently this happened on Friday on his way to like Santa Monica on the 110 or something and this guy's like saying things he actually stops to wait for him to like cut him off it's just like the craziest thing and then at the end he almost like crash or runs into a mini cooper and like it's it, he's just an idiot like this guy i don't know what his issue was he must have been high on something because like he was like purposely like targeting this this guy that was driving his car and he would like stop in like the lane or the center, you know, the shoulder and like would cut him off as soon as he would come near and like start yelling stuff. And he actually came out of the car and like tried like throwing stuff and then apparently it was like a can of whatever the guy was drinking and like the, thankfully it didn't spill over the guy's laptop or something like that. But basically that made me stay up till 11 to watch the news because they were going to interview the victim. And he actually called 911 on his, you know, on his like well, during this video like you you can't hear him that well but you can clearly hear when he calls 911 and so it's just uh like you guys have to be careful on the road not because not necessarily because you guys are bad drivers but because people are a-holes and idiots and get road rage and let like just have all common sense go out goes out the driver's window um so yeah, and then I was watching The Fosters, and now I'm going to bed. So I know not that er, that much ex that exciting, but I hope like what I did say about my friend kind of helps you guys out in those books. You guys check them out, um, if you want to, of course. But if you, especially if you guys are going through a tough time, like I know sometimes I get insecure about myself, and it really has nothing to do with like me growing up or anything. Well, I guess kind of it, everything kind of has to do with how you, you were molded or whatever. Or any like trauma, but not any like specific traumatic experience. It's just sometimes you just get insecure. There's days where I feel like I'm on top of this world, like you know, I have the supermodel feeling. But other times I'm just like some like most days I'm like I'm just happy with the way I look today. Other times though, there are days where you just like no matter what you wear, you just feel like you look like dumb like trash you just you feel very yucky and you judge and then ev that leads to like you judging every little aspect of you sometimes um it's normal but if it goes beyond you know like some bad days then I would say seek help because it's you know you're not you don't have to be alone so yeah that is my motherly advice not that I'm a mother that's my wise advice it's my adult life advice. So yeah, anyways, good night. I will see you guys tomorrow. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tomorrow I'm hoping to get some exercise in because I have a comedy thing show to go to that I promised my friend I'd go to, so can't back down now. So yeah, anyways, see you guys tomorrow.